In industrial electronics, ground bounce is not an earthquake, but can still cause problems in your machine. Consider this common wiring scheme. A 24 volt power supply feeds a solenoid valve, a motion controller, a position sensor, and a pressure sensor. Anyone with basic electronics knowledge knows that the wire connected to the plus output is 24 volts relative to the wire connected to the minus output, which is sometimes called ground, common, or zero reference. However, that is actually wrong. Wires are not perfect conductors. They have things called resistance, capacitance, and inductance. This picture shows them in only a couple of locations, but they actually occur along the entire length of all wires. This means that when a current flows, the voltages at various points in the wire are not the same. In our example schematic, if we have a current in the wire, the voltage at point A will now be less than 24 volts. The current also flows back to the power supply, so the return wire will have a different voltage, meaning that point B will be more than zero volts. This is especially pronounced when the valve fires, since solenoid valves typically draw a lot of current quickly. With a large sudden current, the plus wire voltage will dip down, and the return wire voltage will bounce up. If the resulting voltage difference is less than the required voltage of the other devices on the circuit, they may momentarily lose power. This normally happens very quickly, such as in 50 milliseconds, and requires an oscilloscope to see it. Normal multimeters will not catch this since they are much too slow. The solution is to wire the high current draw devices separately from the other more sensitive devices. If you have a good, properly sized power supply, this will work well. If the power supply is not good or too small, then you will be better off using separate power supplies. Regardless of which method you use, remember that you need to keep the plus and minus wiring of each section separate. It doesn't really help if you separate the plus wiring, but all the minus wiring still goes to the same terminal strip before going to the power supply. That's it. For more wiring videos, see deltamotion.com support.